Hey Nurse Printers, it's Katie and today I want to talk to you about venture capitalist. So you have a great idea for nurse business, but it's going to cost a lot of money to get it off the ground. So what can you do? There's credit cards, loans, you can get a GoFundMe, and of course you can always beg your family members. But what if you need real money, like half a million dollars? In this video, I want to walk you through the process of getting funded for venture capital and what type of businesses they are looking for. So starting a business can be scary, and if you have a big or expensive idea, you're probably wondering, how can you make it happen? Credit cards and bank loans are out of the question if you are working on technological advances, staffing agencies, or medical devices. So here's what you can do you can look for venture capital. Angel investors and venture capitalists are always on the lookout for the next big thing that they can invest their money into. But how do you know if you'll get funded or how to even get started on something like this? I recently spoke with the vice president of Ostia.org, Mary McDougall, about this very issue. So I'll sum it up for you. There are different stages that every business goes through, starting with the big idea. So let's say you have a big idea and you've only got as far as mapping it out on a napkin at dinner. Well, this stage, is it's much too early for venture capital. Generally, venture capitalists won't invest in your business until you do. So if you have an idea that's expensive, you'll probably need between fifty dollars and $100,000 of your own money to get your idea to a place where venture capitalists will become interested. So for instance, if you have an idea for a medical device, and maybe even have a 3D print of it, this stage is still too early. You would need to do clinical research, show its viability and utility, and that can even come in the form of grants or clinical research dollars, but uh, just make sure you own the rights to that technology or device. What you need to create needs to be patentable, uh, whether it's a device or even if it's a service, but something that's patentable uh, would need to be a novel or unique idea. It needs to be scalable because venture capitalists don't waste their money on small projects. And you need to understand how big your potential market is and how many units could be sold in a particular industry. Now let's talk about particular service models that could potentially be funded by venture capitalists. Home care is one area in of question, and in and of itself, it's not of interest to venture capitalists because there, there's already so many major home care agencies out there. You can certainly start one, just don't expect funding for it, unless you have some sort of unique angle. Let's say you develop some sort of system in home care that improves upon the way nurses and patients are allocated to, to each other. Your system's faster, cheaper, better, your idea is patentable, it's, the concept is scalable, and you're grabbing the interest of investors at this point. Hopefully you can see the difference between opening just yet another home care agency versus a better way to do home care. Two businesses in particular are doing very well at this. First is nursepreneur Kara Lunsford at Hollywood. She was able to secure venture capital with her idea of connecting nurses and outpatient offices with her community that is easily accessible via her app. This is a new and novel way of getting nurses permanent and temporary work in the outpatient setting. Second, there's nursepreneur Chris Caulfield from IntelliCare. He was able to secure venture capital for his idea of a staffing agency that provided on-demand and last-minute nursing services to long-term care facilities and rehabs. This has been a crucial need for decades and Chris's company has been able to deliver on that concept. Now both Chris and Kara spent over $50,000 of their own money working multiple jobs in addition to being the sole unpaid nurse in their respective companies for an unknown period of time, but with the determination of showing proof of concept. And their hard work and dedication paid off. So now it's your turn. When you're thinking about whether or not your idea is venture capital worthy, ask yourself first, do I need this money and is it something I can't borrow? Am I willing to give up profits from my business to make to investors to make my idea work? Is the idea proven, patentable, scalable, and unique? If you can answer yes to all of these questions, then you may be a candidate for venture capital investment. 
So now what? One way that you can easily find out if you're a good fit is to go to ostia.org. Ostia is a nonprofit organization that connects entrepreneurs, particularly women, with angel investors. They've simplified the process so much that you'd be crazy not to at least check it out. I mean, it's simple and it's free. So go to their website that can, that can be found in the links below. And all you have to do is submit a one to two page executive summary and they will let you know if you're a good fit. Okay, so I would love to hear what kinds of business ideas that you have. So in the comments section below, tell me what your business is and what you think it will take to get it off the ground. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share with friends, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this for you, and I'll see you in the next one.